Hey guys, Cam from 15, jumping my co-host Red Wolf. We are back at it with another video for you guys and back with another episode of Dragon Ball Daima. Um, as we continue on with this good show, this good show. I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving this show. I'm continually proving to this man over here. He doubted this show. That was at first, okay? I stopped doubting it since the first episode, all right? Kind of. It was more. It was more at the second episode that I start that that I started to get into it. Anyways, um, besides the point, um, let's get into this week's episode because this week's episode we kind of get some interesting back towards about the demon realm. Um, we get some interesting developments, I guess, about potential fusion. Um. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then uh, we're introduced to a new character, which is the Pigtail Demon Girl. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, Obviously, last week, Goku and friends, Glorio and Supreme Kai, they ended up uh, getting some dinner and they ended up getting into a fight. Obviously, they won the fight, but then those crooks stole Glorio's ship. So they had to start walking and they start walking. Now Goku makes the mention like, why can't we just fly? And what's the reason why they can't fly too much? They didn't, they didn't spend too much energy trying to fly in the, in the, within this kind of air that the demon room has right now. Yes, it's pretty heavy. Um, Goku shows it like it's heavy, it's slow. He still has to get used to it in a weird way. I guess this can be good as a uh, good training. Um, so yeah, I think it's only a matter of time before Goku gets used to such a thing. Um, now, may we don't know if this is just a uh, thing of the third Demon Realm area because when Gohan fought against Debora, now mind you, this is like way back, way back a long time ago. But when Gohan was fighting Debora, this wasn't an issue. So. Hmm. This could be just the demon realm for this for this area, and maybe in the few other demon realm areas, whether it's area two or area three, the air is just like normal earth air. But that's the thing. So um, you get to where they end up flying over this crevice where the sea of darkness is at, um, but then they end up getting attacked by a monster, um, and well, Gloria shows what he's got. Yeah, he it's pretty clear that he can hold a, hold his own, which makes me wonder how he'll play in, in Sparkin Zero, because I know he's coming out soon. <laughs> well, he's not coming out soon. It's going to be a while until he comes out. He's an announced character, but it won't be for a long time. You know, I can't hear you when you talk like that, but okay. I know, but I don't really care. I don't really care. I, can't hear, I can still can't hear you. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Glorio ends up winning beating this guy fairly easily he's got some good hands uh the damn thing falls into the sea of darkness they keep going um at some point uh goku senses the presence of of some more bandits and the interesting thing about this is gloria makes a mention he's like wait how did you sense that or how did could you tell and he's like oh i could just sense their energy or their key and gloria's like the yeah. hell is key and basically supreme kai is like it's basically like an invisible living energy force for individuals so again it's another interesting element that we've seen so far that the demon realm characters they're not very adverse to things that we've been knowing for dragon ball yeah which it's shocking to see now, again, mm -hmm. I'm not comparing this to Dragon Ball Heroes or anything, but I'm just saying um, it's really interesting that, yes, these characters probably can fight at high speeds, but Glorio, for an instance, he can't sense energy. And even when we go back to the first episode, Goma and Degasu thought, like, what they were doing was magic. Yes. It makes me wonder how... How how was things for for King for for Dabura during his time? Like, I I would assume that every demon would know the concept of key, considering he was like the demon king. 
Maybe he didn't. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe him being enhanced by Wabadi got him all those that stuff. So that's the thing right in there. Anyways, they go to this shop, um, and there's this lady, this demon lady with her husband and everything, and they're kind of selling some items. Goku's eating a freaking fried chameleon or whatever that is thing. I don't know what that yeah, don't ask me. He also drinks this drink with like eyeballs and it's too like bitter, apparently. Bitter and it's like the healthiest drink available. So anyways, they need to um they need to continue going on and they don't have a ship and they want to get to where they need to get to faster. And basically, um this one old guy comes in, he's like, Hey, do you want to ride a sky seed? And essentially um, the sky see what we see is just basically catapulting them over um, this long distance, but that's kind of the thing. Um, anyways, they Goku looks around and they got all these different like weird bugs things that we see, and these weird bugs give like like I guess you can say enhancements, um, special types of enhancements, like kind of like an RPG type of game, like potions, healing. You know, I think Goku said he found something that's like similar to what a sensu bean um, is. <laughs> I forgot what it was called, but it is, it is some kind of bug. But uh, Yeah. Um, and then now there's this one bug in particular. Um, essentially, it's called a join bug that the lady says. And basically, it feeds half two people and they can fuse for a while, making them stronger. And basically, goes like, oh, wow. So that's fusion. So this potentially, and I know there was like predictions and speculations if we would ever get see fusions um in this show obviously there was like speculations that they're gonna be like super saiyan transformations and stuff like that well the opening gives away that we'll see goku and vegeta go super saiyan at some point in the show but another thing that people speculated um going to this show is if there's ever going to be fusion well with these join bugs there's a potential chance we actually could get fusion now obviously it's probably potentially could be with goku and maybe vegeta or goku and somebody else i don't know but listen it's potentially could be in a fusion because this mean we potentially could see vegeto i'm uh, probably not it's probably just be a brand new fusion of goku and vegeta i'm guessing yeah i'm, I'm guessing because because uh, i'm guessing i guess now we have three different types of fusion but put, put, like a fusion dance patara fusion and now this yeah hmm. well, which uh, makes me, make me wonder what the name is going to be if, if if they do fuse with them any and, and any predictions have have fun down in the comment section so yeah um it probably is just another time limit based fusion because it did say like oh you can only you only be stayed fused for a bit they end up actually do they end up actually buying the uh, bugs that they need goku's got in a little pouch they end up taking the sky seed um it launches and then goku i think asks glory like hey how are you steering this thing and you know glory is like i'm not driving this thing we're just gonna follow it <laughs> So they end up falling. Um, they get out of it pretty eventful way how they got out of it. So that's kind of thing. Now they realize that um, it's going to take them half a day to get to their next destination. Goku is also so Supreme, Supreme Kai, the bugs, and he's like, I don't really like bugs. Okay, so chill with that. <laughs> Anyways, um, now this is where also we get more interesting factoids. Um, Goku also ask about the dragon balls in this area because piccolo mentioned the fact about the demon realms dragon balls and basically uh glorio confirms like yes we have dragon balls here in the demon realm there's three different dragon balls um and they're all um i'll take my fantasy football touchdowns thank you um what your fantasy football touchdown what yeah fantasy football oh wait you don't play fantasy football it's very addicting. Okay. Anyways. Anyways, um, Gloria makes a mention. Yes, we have three sets of Dragon Balls, and I think in my set, I think I forgot. I think I made a mention in the first episode. Um, the Cerulean Dragon Balls. Um, there's three. No, I there's two Cerulean <laughs> Dragon Balls. My bad. It's been a while since I watched the Granola Arc, and plus I don't really like the Granola Arc. Um, but I still can't wait to see it animated. Anyways, um, there's three sets of Dragon Balls in all the three different demon um, realm areas 
and they're obviously all guarded by the uh, t- uh, Tommy Gummies. Um, I think I pronounced that wrong. Hold on, I got. I think I'm. Each demon realm world, yeah, Tommy Gummies guard them. Um, Glorio essentially says like the Tommy Gummies are all pretty damn strong, and essentially to claim the Dragon Balls, you got to beat them. Um, which again, I'm 100% convinced that Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo will all fight at least one of them to get the Dragon yes. Balls to do something. Mm-hmm. If they were if they were still adults, they probably would have handled it easily. But when ever since they were kids, they're having trouble, like you know, controlling their own key. So um, essentially, that's gonna get Goku to be interested in trying to get the Dragon Balls because he wants to probably fight these Tommy Tommy Gummies. Um, so that's kind of the thing now. Um, Gloria does make a mention, like, as far as he knows, no one has ever gathered all three and actually had a wish granted. Um, so there's that. Um, and basically, that gets Goku to get even more hyped by saying, like, well, that's only gonna make me want to do that now. Supreme Kai is like, well, we can't really do that because we gotta freaking rescue Dende first, if anything. So before we do that, let's go rescue Den- uh, Dende now. Goku asks, how far is Atomigami? And basically, Gloria's like, well, you remember where Warp was at? Basically, it's in the opposite direction from where that's at. Um, so it's still pretty far. And I'm guessing they would have to go back to go do it. But I feel like at some point, they're going to have to go get the Dragon Balls um, mm-hmm. for some whatever reason, because that's what the show's about. So... You know, that's the thing right then and there. Um, Glory does make the mention, like, going up to Dragon Balls could be worth pursuing, but we'll see. We will see. Anyways, um, they get to the next town, and then Goku's drinking some water, but they get to the next town, and they end up actually seeing some guards, well, taking people's life force away. Yeah, mainly because they, mainly because they have to, like... Uh pace pace like a how much like how many like how much gold or something know. it was a lot of money yeah let's just, yeah let's just say they, they raise the price or something and they say they don't and they say fail to pay they, and they're gonna take uh how much of their life force and... yeah like nine years or something yeah. so um we have it uh they have like this canister this like canister or whatever and this one guy can't pay so they end up draining his life force away and he becomes like an old man um, and then I think he I think he was already old, but just I guess he was just a little older. And then yes, and the next one that came up, like he he was not able to pay, and uh, he was like, please don't, don't, don't please just just let just 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 spare me this time. If you take any more of my life force, I'll die. Because yeah, he was already really old, and uh, he he kept saying like I'll, I'll pay you back next time, but the guard was like, no way, take him too. So we already see that Goma is already using his forces to get for obviously his own selfish reasons. Now, if you remember from the first episode, when Goma promised Neba, um, if he helps him, um, he would give him more lifespan, more years, or I think he said like a thousand years of his life <clears throat> more. So clearly we see what he's doing. He's draining the demon realm folks life energy if they don't got the money. And he's probably going to give that to Neba. Which would essentially kind of make him immortal mm. in a weird way. Because we know Namekians yeah. can live up to be very damn old. Um, yeah. But if you're just taking people's lifespans, you know, you're making him. You could basically keep him alive. Now, the interesting thing is if he were to like, would this make him like younger or something? I don't know. Yeah, I would, Im- I would imagine it would take effect like how Lord Slug wish, wish for eternal youth and all that stuff. And yeah, he would just look younger and potentially stronger. I guess. I guess even like a have well, like. Neba looks doesn't more look like a warrior clan to making. He's more like a dragon clan. Or get, or then I guess more like enhanced magic. Like you know how like he, he was able to call forth the dragon balls just like that. Maybe 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 he'll have something even further beyond that. Yeah. Anyways, you have it to where you hear you see this masked character show up. And just like start attacking the guards and everything, including yeah. Havoc. Yeah. Um, she ends up running into a um, uh, she ends up running into an alleyway, and she ends up getting confronted, and she ends up getting somewhat captured, and she's having trouble trying to get away. But then that's when Goku kicks into action, 
and he basically saves her and he starts kicking butt like goku does again more good animation from the action we hear he's not only using his fist he's using his power pole again watching this reminds me of old og dragon ball when he was taking down the red ribbon army um and stuff like that so um they managed to get out of there um and escape because things started to get a little bit too crazy and the guards were like who the hell are you and blah 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 blah. so clearly they're gonna go back and they're gonna tell goma like hey there's this strange individual with the spiky hair you know he started like kicking our butts and everything and then goma's gonna be like spiky hair what what did he look like and i'm pretty sure he knows what the what the what they were talking about because he, he saw them under he saw them on the footage so so yeah anyways they managed to get out of there and they as they're before they're about to continue on the episode ends off with the mask character showing or revealing herself she takes off the mask and she's just like hey what's the deal and who are you essentially and that's where the episode ends off next week um next episode title is called pansy which it is the girl's name the demon girl's name um so yeah um i am shocked that uh, she's already come across goku in friends um i thought for the way they were setting it up it looked like like maybe she could be like traveling alongside vegeta and bulma and piccolo and then could keep it to keep it a card because we've seen in the, in the endings and the openings that it seems like her and bulma like are probably gonna connect a lot so mm-hmm. um, but it seems like she's gonna be a part of this crew which is fine so uh yeah but anyway, anyway but other than that a solid episode of dragon ball daima um obviously some people will say the pacing is quite slow of where we're going but we're still starting out and plus again daima is an anniversary show to the original dragon ball and dragon ball did start off pretty slow mm. so i have no problems i'm just happy that we're getting dragon ball that's all i care about <laughs> i would have i, I would have preferred the rest of dragon ball super but it's fine Oh yeah, you you know you can go read the manga if you want that. Then I'll wait. Yeah, huh? Yeah. So you see, this is what we talk about. Just read the manga, and then you get your Dragon Ball Super. I'm waiting for it to be animated. I'm friend. waiting for it to be animated. Uh huh. You can just go read the manga. Anyways, we're gonna get out. Of here. Anyways, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts. Hit the subscribe button if you think Denzel should read the manga so he can stop waiting for Dragon Ball Super and get it over. Oh. Are we really doing this? Also, hit the subscribe button if you think whatever fusion could potentially be and blah blah blah. Yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah. yeah, yeah. Put down the creative name to, to and and we'll see if you're right or not. Who knows? Um. So yeah. Anyways, um, what we got up here? If you guys hit that subscribe button, you'll get more anime content on the channel. Again, I'm catching up on a bunch of shit, mm-hmm. a bunch of stuff, and then hit the subscribe button to my co-host. We'll be doing the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero live stream later today. It won't be a live stream. It'll be, it'll be a full-on video. It'll be a full-on video. And I'll be rendering it afterwards. So. That was a live stream. But okay. It was it's gonna be it's gonna be no, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a video only. I don't I don't just do live streams, man. I mean obviously it would be easier, but I gotta put some effort into these videos, man. I gotta put some effort into these. People people are actually liking it. Till then guys. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Peace.